Hi friends, this is Vetrivel. This tutorial I will teach how to generate a uh, invoice like PDF format in ASP.NET. So I already designed one uh, build copy like that. This is invoice number, order number, an order sheet. This is showing the date and this is the showing the company name. This is product and all. So I am just I am designed like uh, I will show the code for that. Just open with uh, Notepad, so you will see the code. I am designed that code using the table and all, using the table and table space and all. This is the HTML code, and now I already designed this document using the HTML here, and now I need to uh, generate the uh, PDF file for that. So now I will teach all this code for that. Just go to the project. This is new form the default form I added a new leaf form so here coding window is this the page load window here I will declare the namespace namespace for time being I will uh, make the all the code here so I need to declare the namespace using system IO and system text and uh, system dot data so I am using these three uh, namespace here uh, this namespace, this is system.io is will used for a yes, string, uh, string reader and IO object, input output object. This is the manipulating the text and all. This is the using the data table. That time we will use the uh, text. After that, I will declare uh, one more three namespaces here. One is three namespaces. Uh, I text short text i text of text dot pdf i text of text dot html dot simply pairs so it will pass the html files into pdf okay but it will showing the error because i text stop is uh, not in your uh, visual studio is a third party dll to add this in your project so how to add the third party dll in your projects so i already have that D uh, dll this is i text short dot dll you want i text short dll then you have to go to browser and type uh, i text short dot dll for asp.net so you can find uh, download here from here and after that you will get that uh, dll here now i try to add the dll from my website so just click the solution explorer and your project name and right click uh, add new item sorry uh, uh, add reference you have to select add reference inside add reference you have to click the browse icons and go to desktop and uh, you have to find the dll here so this is text i short dll just click ok so it will automatically created the bin folder inside a bin folder it will add the text short dll files once hit the run button or anything it will won't show the error it automatically uh, converted into here now i add the other things now i declare the company and invoice numbers here so in form load i am just using this is my company name this is order number i will declare here after that i will adding the data tables here just copy and paste it here so i am declaring the data table creating the data table d and adding the columns uh, five columns here one is product id product and price and quantity and total so this is string 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 this is int this is int this is int okay now uh, adding all the values from the uh, five rows uh, 101 sun classes uh, price is 200 and quantity is 5 and this is uh, total amount so likewise I added the records so I will put the debug mode here and run the project once again so you will see the all the details here so it comes to debug mode here and 
now is dt is null and now dt have the columns so he will see the columns have the columns but without record here now press f10 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 and now going to dt and click the columns so you will get the uh, four column four rows four rows four records is there so these records will be transferred into the uh, html document uh, converted into the html document after that it will uh, uh, exporting the pdf files like that okay now i will copy those sections here control c and then paste it here see i already returned the course so this is string writer sw is a writer and html text writer so sw it will write the xml text writer and i using string builder here here i am declare line by line so if I have the HTML code already, I have shown the HTML code. Line by line, I will copy and paste it here. So I will show here once once again and go to AD open with Notepad. So this is first line. Like that, likewise, I will line by line. I am copied and paste it into here. So this is order number. So order number, we will get the order number here inside order number i will get the order number pass the order number here likewise i need the date here date so i need to get the date time here i need to company name here i will already declare the company name i just pass the company name here i need to declare the generate the grid view here so that's why grid view i am using the uh, data sorry table sections and create the column and this is the table header i'm using to create the table header and and uh, styling the css style inline style here only using the inline style then only it works don't use the outside css code here it won't work okay so i'm using the inline styles and the column names column names uh, this is the column product id product name pro price and quantity total so it will uh, based on the dt columns it will uh, run the loops here so the column low uh, it will appended here after that uh, table row i will start a table row here and close the rows here uh, after that uh, in data section i will create the based on the rows uh, try to for each loop based on the rows and every row have one time run the columns here so uh, best practice i will put the debug mode here and run the project it comes a debug mode here so i have the columns based on the columns i have based on the columns it will run the loop f10 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 so it will five times now you have to show the all the details date will become the date here item name table product id product name likewise it will comes all the records here all the records here all the records here likewise i will append the rows here row sections every row it will be try to uh, every row is comes first row comes after that five columns it will be looping second rows comes after that five columns it will be loop so now it will comes comes to end here so after that here i am using the string uh, reader to read the uh, SP. SP is a string builder. I am getting the string from string reader uh, and pass the document, PDF document. I am declaring the page size of the document. So page size is A4 and margin 
10 f uh, margin left and right right and uh, left right top bottom all the margins we are setting now that uh, pdf document and pass to the html worker worker and pdf writer i'm using to uh, getting the pdf document his document size and the response dot uh, output stream so html worker it will be converted into the html file like and open the pdf document and html pressure to the press the all the strings here or uh, strings here declared already so it will uh, converted the response to content type application is a pdf type and content type attached file is a uh, it will invoice slash invoice number automatically comes here dot pdf it will downloaded here so now press the f5 directly it will run the project so it will downloaded here and click the pdf file see it successfully created the document size now i will run once again without debug mode so first i will remove all the debug modes go to debug mode disable all breakpoints it will disable all the breakpoints and run the project once again once the project is run the automatically pdf file it will converted and download here so just you have to click the pdf file it will open the pdf file see okay guys we will meet on next best tutorial and one more thing i will tell uh, all the codes i will post it into command sections don't forget to see the command section so using the command section you can easily copy the code and test it into uh, into your project mm -hmm. don't worry about that just okay guys we will meet on my next best tutorial bye see you later